adventurers and welcome to another War of Imperium session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. We are your casters for today. My name is James. My name is MG. Let's go. Yes, and uh, unfortunately for now, we don't have uh, <laughs> our cameras on. But yes, right off the bat, we can see here Dominari just yes. getting all set and ready for, uh, you know... Tonight's War of Imperium. Yeah, I think they're back now, and I think this is really good that uh, they're actually showing up again on our War of Imperium session. Mm -hmm. And as we see, they're actually approaching now, and the holder of this castle is, if I'm not mistaken, this is Goons, right? Yes, it's Goons, actually. And now Dominari just wants to go in. They are preparing, I think, to oh. actually, uh, you know, rush in. I'm not sure if Goons has defense here. Let's us just check. Oh, Goons has defense. So Dominari yep. will back out. Maybe they would just want to regroup for now. But of course, they have the Shadow uh, Shadow Chaser just to uh, scout yep. things out. And now they are going in. Arrow Storms will Whoa. connect as Goons will get taken wow. down. Dominari just wiping everyone out as Goons will have a hard time right now because Dominari is all set and ready to take Graham Hill Castle. Yes. Um. For at uh, one. Uh for that few seconds, we thought that uh, Guns has a full setup of uh, defense there, but again, um, Dominari uh, showed a uh, respect there. They actually fall back, but mm -hmm. when they saw that there is a few Guns protecting that um, uh, choke spot, uh, they actually just went in now without mm -hmm. any hesitation. So, yes. good push there coming from Dominari. Yes, and Dominari just now wants to conquer Kremhill Castle as they are going to hold this choke point. And I think Goons won't be able to defend this if they don't push in together. But what a nice yeah. push coming from Dominari. They are not a complete guild right here, right now. But uh, with their numbers, I think they can actually do it. And uh, they are like a medium-sized guild right now. So it's going to be, you know... uh. An even fight if they are going to yes. go against goons. Yes, and at the same time, I really like the trade off there of um, arrow storms coming from um, goons and versus Dominari. Mm -hmm. But apparently, uh, we know that they have more numbers, so that means they have more firepower to uh, counter initiate the goons' um, push. Yes, and now Kremhild has been taken by Dominari. Maybe they are in Fadid. Oh, okay. So there are people in Fadid. Oh. Nonsense just conquered this castle. Good. Let's just check inside right now. Oh, nonsense! With a good hole right there. They have that classical block on the floor. So I'm not sure if they are going to push this uh, as they are all set and ready. We also have Purple Dominary here. Just yes. getting ready for War of Imperium. Opus Day as well. And uh, nonsense with a good defense right now. Yes. So Arsenal, oh, Arsenal is also outside though, MG. Oh, this is gonna be okay. an interesting battle. And yeah, I think they just need to be careful on on this push. We're talking about like three big kills right now. Mm -hmm. um, camping outside the castle. Um, that classical puck. I'm not sure if it's uh, it will fully cover the entire push on the portal side. But I think they just need to put a bit of. Um, scouts or ground control players on the right wing of that entrance to make sure that everything is going to be covered for that defense. Mm -hmm. And now, hello to everyone watching in the stream right now. Please like and follow the play page, share the stream as well, and uh, make sure to join the ROGGH Discord as we have a lot of things to talk about in the community. And uh, we also mm -hmm. have uh, Tove Talks hosted by Kai every Thursday. Okay, so yeah. we have interesting topics there as well. We mentioned this in our last stream though, MG. And I think yeah. Kai is already thinking about what to talk about next for next Thursday. Yeah. Alright. So yeah. Kai is also in the chat right now though. So What's hello. Up, Kai? What's up? What's hello up? Kai. Hello Nina. Hello Gabrielle. Alright. Yeah. No lag in stream. Uh, yeah, hopefully there will be no lag until the end of yeah. Warp Imperium though. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. yeah, the nonsense. Uh, they don't yeah. have a full size guild right now, but they have a classical yes. block on the floor. They also have that Sura just waiting on the side, along with the uh, you know the, the, the genetic, probably to cast that Mandragora Howling, just waiting for their opponents to push in. Yes, 
And I think this is actually a wise uh, decision coming from Nonsense mm -hmm. that they uh, put the defense on the first portal versus on the mid uh, part of that uh, floor. Um, because again, um, they can actually delay the enemies mm -hmm. on the first portal and then uh, just in case that um, they got wiped out, they can actually platform and oh. reset up their um, defense on the inside. Yes, and they are now pushing in, I think. No, I think that's Dominari just wants to take a hold oh. of this castle right now, Fat Grid. But look no, at Dominari just sustaining the damage coming from nonsense. And they are still alive. Madragora Howling got casted right there. And we also have Fratres Advitam on the side. And look at the push of Dominari. They are still alive though. Classical Pluck is still affecting yep. them right now. Nice but rest. they are still alive. No, no one's taking them down, even with the firepower of nonsense. <laughs> but eventually, they will round out of health right there. They only have the yes. 12 guards left on uh, their side. But of yeah. course, Dominari just still wants to continue to push in right now. But oh, so classical block got removed right oh. now. Oh no, okay. Go. So nonsense, Dominari. Okay, I'm, I'm going to die right up. there. <laughs> almost, I almost I told died. You. <laughs> I almost died. Okay, okay. Almost. Okay, they, they just need to put that classical uh, block back and, mm -hmm. uh, back and running there in order for them to have that uh, extra, you know, defense there. Because uh, without that classical block, um, Dominari can definitely just roam around and take them one by one. Mm -hmm. But nonsense though. Look at the uh -huh. swarm of the other guilds just pushing in the nonsense yeah. castle. And uh, I'm worried about my health right now. <laughs> but Opus Day will come in as well. Purple <laughs> Dominari, Red Dominari. And uh, Nonsense is nowhere to be found. The only of you players of Nonsense still left. But Arrow Storm, ooh! ooh. They ooh. took each other out right there. But they have that uh, mechanic hey, just uh, looking, uh, looking to cast that suicidal destruction. No? Okay, yep. he's inside. Opus Day? No! No, no suicidal destruction coming from Nonsense right there. Hey, I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, I mean, I think uh, they just are saving the SD for the inner part of the um, castle. I think uh, they they are aware about the cooldown of the SD or the mm -hmm. suicidal destruction. So I think that's uh, actually a wise thing to do, just to save it up for the meantime. Mm -hmm. And now Dominari will take a hold of this castle and uh, they have this a entrance storm. all set uh, right now. Yeah. But again, um, it's still good. They still have like uh, a second chance inside of uh, protecting the Imperium. Mm -hmm. Again, um, the owners of the castle can actually do a flag warp inside to set up their second defense mm -hmm. um, versus the attacking guild. Yes, and uh, Dominari proving their dominance once again in a war of Imperium. And uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> it's uh, probably because of the God item update. And uh, we're going to talk oh, about yeah. it later on. But Dominari, looking at their numbers right now and uh, the, their stability in, uh, in the game. And the uh, nonsense can't do yes. anything uh, to hold them back because they just warmed in because it's the entrance of the castle. And uh, we already praised Dominari for how quick they are into the grouping. Yes. And how they are yes. always, uh, you know, I think one step ahead of their opponents. Yes, and to to be fair, I really uh, miss this type of um, war, the the rush uh, push coming from Dominari. Um, this is one of the strategies that I really like about them. Um, they are not making any uh, room for the enemy to react versus their strategy. So mm -hmm. a very aggressive play style coming from their guild, and we know them. The win rate. Um, from their pushes is like almost 80% to 90% if they're gonna commit on mostly on the second push or even on the first push as well. Mm -hmm. But the castle has been conquered by Purple Dominari though. And now oh, Purple Dominari, okay, Acid Bomb will get uh, thrown right here, but Opus Day just came in to hold that entrance probably. But Red Dominari will also be there. Arrow Storms will come off. That's from Red Dominari. And look at yeah. that. Red Dominari just uh, holding the entrance right now for Purple as they yes. are maybe preparing to set up their defense for now. But Opus Day just wants to try and take a hold of this castle right now. And uh, he's just busy. Just uh, resurrecting yeah. the among kills before he got taken out right there. <laughs> yes, and this is what I miss about Dominari. Um, if we're gonna talk about Dominari, you're gonna talk about like the how they sync in battle, how they help each other. 
uh, throughout the entire uh, two hours of working period. Mm. So this is a big example of how they help each other. Um, they gave the Imperium to uh, Purple Dominari. They're trying to hold the entrance, preventing mm -hmm. the enemy to disrupt the uh, setup defense of the Purple Dominari. And once the Purple Dominari is set up, definitely Dominari can actually move out of this castle and maybe take another one um, mm -hmm. uh, for their belt. Yes, and now uh, look at the setup of Red Dominari right there. As uh, they are just setting things up, well, let's take a look outside right now. Ooh, okay, so we have Vault Bar, the previous Vault owner Bar. of the castle before Nonsense just took it away from them. And let's yeah. take a look at uh, Kremhild actually. And Arsenal just uh, took a hold of Kremhild right now. We also have Red Dominari, I think, uh, trying to push in. Opus Day will be there as well. Yeah. So let's see if there's a defense coming from not Arsenal. Yes, and speaking of Arsenal, uh, just a quick uh, info about them. Every time that you're talking about a Warf Imperium Arsenal, you're talking about um, Kremhild. Yeah. Kremhild is the one of the uh, top priority castles of this guild, and this is the castle that um, they're actually dominating versus other guilds. Mm -hmm. The win rate that they have here is very high, and they're actually very familiarized uh, uh familiar with um the mapping of this castle mm -hmm. actually yeah i agree with you in that one because they really love creme Hill castle and yeah. uh yeah i agree with you that their win rate is so high in creme Hill. uh they actually took a battle against red dominari from time to time but look at the what arsenal is doing right now in terms of numbers uh, dominari has the advantage but Arsenal, yeah. I, I know that they don't want to back out from this fight against Dominari right now. Okay, we yeah. have that Shadow Chaser just causing some trouble here at the Arsenal side. But uh, Dominari just quickly regrouping here. Just making yes. sure they have eyes against Arsenal right now. Yes. Um. Actually, this is going to be a... Uh, I think if Arsenal is just going to make Dominari regroup on this one, mm -hmm. Maybe they just want to go in for a guild versus guild fight here. Or if they're gonna be an objective type here, um, they're not gonna let Dominari regroup here. But I think they're just letting Dominari to uh, set up their offense here. Mm -hmm. And hmm. now we can see here the setup of a Volt Gills. Just making sure they have a skills cast on the floor while they yep. are just uh, preparing to take each other out. Dominari is regrouping on the left side, Arsenal on the right. And look at the skills getting classed on the floor right now. We have that land protector on the ground. While uh, Arsenal also have that land protector on the ground. But it's on their side maybe to make way for that Numa. For them to not get a wipe out immediately right there. But we have that ninja on top yes. as well. So it's, I think it's the first time that uh, Arsenal is uh, using at Kagero for, that, uh, for their lineup. Oh yeah. I think uh, they're just trying to maximize the solo target burst damage coming from that Kagura. And uh, right now, I think uh, Dominari doesn't have that RG heavy pressure melee type um, setup here. Mm -hmm. That, you know, that it's it's kind of really annoying on the defender side every time that they use that. So I'm not sure if what's the approach of uh, Dominari here. Are they going to stick with the uh, long range? Um, magic solo target pressure here or are they just gonna go in for a rg melee type backlane type um offense here mm -hmm. but uh, both of them are actually using that magnetic earth to actually protect themselves from the aoe damage storm just getting casted on the floor and arsenal just uh, getting ready to take dominari out and same goes for dominari our storm oh. will land on arsenal's side we have the safe yeah, that warlock just slip right there we have our uh sorcerer just going in suicidal destruction no. okay suicidal destruction will come off from dominari oh. right now and look at that um, mechanic from red dominari take out the whole stack of arsenal oh my goodness yeah um I don't know what happened there. Um, they know for a fact that they're gonna rush in, that they're gonna use uh like eighty percent of the time. Um, the RG of uh, Dominari uses Kuyak just to penetrate the mid lane or back lane of the enemy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why there is no counter on the side of um, Arsenal there. They can actually do a counter SD as well on the attacking or pushing um 
Dominari, but again, there's no reaction. They just uh, they just chose to uh, fall, uh, paddle back and uh, go inside. Uh, one of the reasons why it can't work is because maybe Red Dominar is genetic, already casted the Mandragora Howling, and maybe that mechanic got uh, affected by the Mandragora Howling, so that's why he couldn't land a suicidal destruction. Yeah. But looking at what Red Dominar's mechanic did, he just front using that front slide to go quickly yeah, in the stack of Arsenal, and uh, no one noticed that he was just there. And then quickly casted that suicidal destruction, taking a lot of players of Arsenal out. Yes, I think uh, they should actually just put like one Sura, um, who focused, um, you know, um, protecting the middle part of their guild. Mm -hmm. Like for example, somebody is gonna jump or do a curse circle. That Sura will counter initiate immediately just to prevent, um, you know, preventing the opponent guild to cause more damage or cost more problems on their side so i think that's what la uh, what's lacking currently on arsenal they just keep on missing and missing those um um flanks coming from the opponent guilds to their mid part of their uh, stack mm -hmm. now here in padgard uh, castle uh because krem hill got taken uh, that arsenal is guarding for a minute there uh, they want to outpour the Padrigid Castle that Purple Dominari is uh, taking a hold of right now. But first, they want to yeah. hold, probably, uh, you know, damage the players here at the entrance of this castle. Dragon's Breath will land right there. And look at the, look at that Rune Knight, though. He's just using that <laughs> Dragon's Breath, just irritating Arsenal out. While yes. Arsenal just uh, quickly wants to push in. And uh, they have that mechanic just uh, preparing himself to actually... Uh, you know, take on a fight against Purple Dominari yes. later on here inside the castle. Yes, exactly. And again, we're talking about Purple Dominari here. Mm -hmm. uh, they have this uh, match before Arsenal and Dominari, and it's an even fight coming from this um, two guilds. So I'm not sure what adjustment is going to happen since it's been a while since they have like a a one v one session, attacking versus defender, or attacker versus defender, and and so on. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and check if um. If there's gonna be an, any adjustment, or are they gonna stick with the old strategy on pushing versus purple dominari? Mm -hmm. And that warlock just used that halter to try and run away, though. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to run away. Okay, so Arsenal yeah. wants to go in. Look at that arrow storm oh. getting landed on the side of purple dominari, but Arsenal just quickly wants to push in, and uh, they are surviving. But the damage output of our purple dominari is taking the back lane of Arsenal out. And right now, they only have a few members left right here, so make that uh, only one. And Arsenal will not be successful into actually pushing the castle of Purple Dominari right now. Yes, I like the confidence they're coming from the Purple Dominari. Um, instead of waiting um, Arsenal at the uh, Imperium side, they just uh, created a new spot there. Mm -hmm. um, I think Arsenal is not aware of that spot yet. Um, that's why when they uh, went in, I think they don't have that full battle chance uh, for their entire party and they got punished instantly. Mm -hmm. And that's why, uh, you know, Purple Dominari is uh, pretty dangerous to deal with as well. Even with yeah, Arsenal definitely. trying to push them out, uh, you know, a Purple yeah. Dominari just uh taking a hold of that castle and making sure arsenal doesn't go uh in the stack of their back lane but arsenal of course will hold the entrance of this castle for now to make sure that they can regroup and uh, they don't get pushed by other guilds from the back yes and actually this is good they're just trying to uh to take it slow on on their fights again they've been losing left and right fights um versus uh versus dominari we're talking about red and purple dominari so i think they just need to take it slow try to uh win small fights first and take that win to a bigger fight yes and right now red dominari wants oh, to go oh. in for backup right now and uh look They're at what's smart. happening against our arsenal they just quickly got wiped out because dominari uh, I'm pretty sure they are a very well coordinated guild. They can handle, um, you know, two guilds at the same time. Yeah. So it's not an easy feat to to do. It's pretty Definitely. pretty difficult to have all your members coordinated at the same time. Uh, and the the members are all listening to the commands 
probably they have one or two commanders in the guild uh, one for purple and one for red and maybe the main commander is going to be on the red side or maybe they are both commanders they are just well very well coordinated with each other and all the yes. members are listening to them yes and yeah this that's actually what i love about that guild uh dominary they're very impressive they're very aggressive in the same time and the coordinate uh the coordination coming from these two guilds like uh it's actually one of the things that i really like and why i really pushing on watching dominary because of those sync uh pushes mm -hmm. and coordination yes and uh, dominari actually going inside this castle right now i don't know who's defending this is, is there even a defender uh let's <laughs> just check maybe there's no one defending though <clears throat> yeah there might be there might be a defender yep. in this castle but i'm not really sure Okay. This is actually one of the castles that uh you can take advantage most of the spots. Um and you can use that spots for choke points and all. So but the downside of this one is the the castle is kind of big as well. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the Imperium, you have a left and right um option there if you're gonna go flank or uh, left or flank right side. So yeah. you need to have a really large guild to hold this castle. Yes, and they they're just gonna leave this royal guard behind to actually break that imperium. So let's go back yeah, to Krem yeah. Hill right now. So Arsenal, so Arsenal is just uh taking either Krem Hill or Fadgrid. If Red Dominari yes. pushed out from uh Krem Hill, Arsenal is going to push <laughs> Krem Hill. <laughs> then uh, if Red Dominari already took a hold of Krem Hill, then Arsenal is going to try and cut a uh, capture Fadgrid. <laughs> Yes, like we uh, mentioned earlier, like this is their turf, this is their home, they're gonna defend it and they're gonna take it till the end. So that's why if you say um, Arsenal Guild, that's gonna be Krem Hill. Mm -hmm. But right now it's going to be Purple Dominari against Arsenal. Look at Purple Dominari on the side, just uh, regrouping right now and uh, like what I said, this is actually the first time that I've seen Arsenal use a Kagero for their roster. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that dash is very nice on uh, solo bursting uh, damage, yeah, and for pressure as well. And um, we're talking about, uh, yeah, you mentioned earlier that this is going to be Purple Dominary versus Arsenal. I think this match is going to be a, a good, uh, a fair match Ooh. between these two guilds. Okay, Ooh. so we just saw a good fist land right there. We you have some comments live. right here. Shout out to Goon, said Chris Roniel. Hope it's there in Arsenal in the house, said Gabriel. So hello to you all. And a shout out What's to up? Goons, hope it's there in Arsenal. I haven't seen Goons that much for now. Uh, they're probably in a different castle as well as nonsense. Mm -hmm. uh, Purple Dominari just are preparing to go in. Of course, uh, they might go in here on the left side. Okay, so they will. And Arsenal just taking a hold of their favorite spot. And uh, they just need to be wary of the mechanics of Purple Dominari yes. right there. Yes, I think um, Purple Dominari right now has like um, two mechanics up and running on their, on their roster. So they need to be careful on those SDs, um, you know, connecting to their mid lane. And we have some manholes casting on the floor. Look at Cancel from the Purple Dominary. Just uh, getting uh, buried in that manhole right there. <laughs> but uh, Arsenal just <coughs> wants to uh, take a hold of the castle. Look at that arrow storm coming from Arsenal. Just going out of that portal probably. Then just casting yeah. that, ar that, casting that uh, arrow storm. Oh. Alright. Um, okay, so yeah, that mechanic really though, that mechanic from Purple Dominari just wants to quickly use that front slide to go in the stack there of Arsenal. They need to anticipate that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, so that's yeah. uh, there's a Mikachu who's out of structure, will land once again as Arsenal's oh. numbers will get reduced quickly by the mechanic of Purple Dominari. So that was really dangerous for Purple Domi or for, rather for Arsenal right there. Because, yeah. um, even Red Dominari did the same thing. Yes. Right. Um, I'm not sure what happened to Arsenal on that one. They've been 
very successful um, previously on countering those SDs or suicidal destruction. But right now, it's... I'm not sure what happened to Arsenal on that. Yeah, actually, right now, they're having a hard time dealing with that suicidal destruction or that mechanic uh, coming I mean, from Purple Dominari, though. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's an even number fight. Yeah, I think that's an even number fight. But yeah. Arsenal, though, uh, will just try and probably defend this castle for one more time here at the third portal and purple dominar just quickly pushing in we have the true knight we have those royal guards and look at the defense already set up by arsenal right there uh dominari dragon's breath will land right there and we have that royal guard just casting a seed break and the purple dominari will not oh. will back out for now and maybe regroup outside Let's try again for another push. yes yeah, I think uh, they're just gonna wait for more players here coming um, coming from the Dominari. And right now, they have like few red Dominaris joining the fight here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. comments right here, shout out to MG. Okay. Oh! Okay. Up, SC Boost Police. Uh, we previously had an XP boost though, so uh, I think we we have XC boost every now and then in GGH, so just make sure yeah. to stay updated because they we announce it in the page and in the, in Discord. We also put it up on our website, so make sure to do check it out. All right, <coughs> so Arsenal not really doing a good job in holding Kremhild right now. So maybe they are going to opt for Fadgrid Castle for now. Yes, maybe there's still uh, there is still a you know that vibe on on our last event you know for third delaying or too much defense and so on maybe mm -hmm. so I'm not sure but I think this is not how they play before they, um they're facing an even number fight I think actually and no you because of red dominari right there uh, it's not really even now. But uh, with only Purple Dominari, I think Purple Dominari is leading in numbers or from of maybe around five more players on Purple Dominari yeah. side. Mm -hmm. So maybe they just got outnumbered and, uh, you know, numbers will mean a big thing, especially in War of Imperium. But Arsenal, we yes. have that Sura in the entrance. Maybe they already push in right now. So we are going yes. to quickly check that. And that's Sura just using that snap. Just quickly maneuvering inside. Probably Arsenal is already in. So it's only the three guilds right here, right now in a Kremhill Castle. I'm not sure where Nonsense is. Uh same for Opus Day and Goons. Yes. But I think they're just trying to cap more castles uh, for the meantime. They're trying to uh um slow down things because mm -hmm. uh you know those skills every time that it's going to be a regular war period most of them are being objective and trying to boost their economy in terms of capturing multiple castles and same time saving us uh, place most probably mm -hmm. so here in your fair though uh we have a vault bar okay vault let's bar. see in referio i'm not sure if they are actually defending this castle right now Maybe they just took it. Maybe they just yeah. took it. Okay, so they probably just took this castle. And uh, no one's defending it right now. Not even a soul right now in Referian Castle, though. Yes. And I think it's it's the only uh, right thing to do. If we, we're still talking about like uh, the first 30 minutes of the War of Imperium. So the best thing that you can do is just try to distribute... Um, your names on multiple castles so you know where the enemy is so once the castle is being captured it will notify to you that your castle has been captured so you know what um area or what um castle to avoid mm -hmm. you know okay so goons is probably inside here okay so there's a defense uh for goons here <laughs> at scarlet palace so <clears throat> I'm not sure if someone's going to push that for now, but uh, yes. let's uh, go out and uh, try and look at the other different castles. 
maybe other people are defending different spots as well. Oh. So Red Dominary just uh, came from Bright Arbor. Maybe they left a Royal Guard there or maybe they noticed the defense. Because Red Dominary, with their numbers, they can quickly scout different castles as mm-hmm. well. Yes, that's true. So this is usually and... the holding spot though. Okay, so no. I'm not defense. sure if... Uh, yeah. That's what one of the things that I really like about Dominari. They uh they have that um RG. They value the that character because you can actually switch into a defense utility or even a support or even an attacker type. That's why uh they actually choose um on you know putting the lineup uh the Royal Guard. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Oh, okay. So uh. A teddy bear. <laughs> a mm-hmm. teddy bear in a cup. <laughs> okay. Okay. A teddy bear in a cup. But Opus Day Arsenal is outside here. Vault bar as well. And look at what's That's happening gonna be good. inside Opus Day. Purple Dominary. Goons Gates of Hell will try and uh, take out kick from uh, Dominary right here. Dragon's Breath will mm-hmm. land here. Arsenal just dealing damage against Opus oh. Day. And Opus Day has good numbers for now. But Manabora yeah. Howling will get casted by the genetic of uh, Opus Day, but he will get taken out by an Earth Grave. Oh my goodness! I think the sorcerer is damaged from <laughs> the damage of the sorcerer coming from Purple Dominari is a little bit too strong. So they really yeah. need to offer that uh, lamp protector, though. Okay, flash yep. combo coming from Opus Day. Another Earth Grave. Good oh. fist will it land. Oh, okay. It Some won't demo. land. Because Dominari, that sorcerer, just hid before that Guilty Fist even finished casting. Yes. And that's what I like about sorcerer. They can actually, you know, put pressure, put, uh, like, sustain as well. And damage now, especially with their, with their class, mm-hmm. that Psychic Wave connecting, they can actually deal a lot of damage with the right items plus the build as well. Yes. You know, MG, if the, you know, the, the annoying, the most annoying character in uh, third job is the Shadow Chaser, the second yeah. one will be the Sorcerer. Definitely. Because Especially if that's oh, another Arrow Storm will oh, land. A oh, lot of players of Opus oh. Day got taken out. Dragon's Water's Breath will oh. land here at the stack again of Opus Day. Arsenal just trying to cast Mandragora Howling, but Guillotine Fist will land before that Mandragora Howling will finish casting right there. And Opus Day yes. will just quickly try and regroup, but that Aikira or Kira from Aftershock and uh, along with the Sura. So this is a duo. This is a. They're always a duo, oh, though. That's... Oh! Okay, oh, Curse Circle will duo. land. I'm not sure if Ikira can actually spot. <laughs> Okay, so oh, <laughs> Gates of Hell will oh, land right there, and uh, the dynamic duo. Yeah, they they were always a duo, so both of them though. <clears throat> but another yeah. one will cast Madragora Howl. We cast Gates of Hell will land oh. right there. Aftershock and the spam of Gates of Hell coming from that Sura of Purple Dominari, just quickly taking out two members of Aftershock. While well, Opus Day will regroup once again. They have that demonic fire on the ground. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, that's a demonic fire. But yeah, that's let's demonic see. Fire, yeah. Up stay. Yeah, shout out your favorite guilds as well. If you want to shout out your friends, your guild mates, your family members, your pets in the chat, you can do so. If you have a loved one playing War of Imperium right now here in Ragnarok Online GGH, make sure to comment down below and maybe you can uh, comment. What you what you want to tell him or her playing the game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, the pressure there on the uh, portal is really heavy there. Mm-hmm. But Arrow they don't have any. De- they don't have any defensive, um, like Numa or land protector there. Mm-hmm. No Numa, but they have. They Ooh. do have that cursed circle though. But that the windmill already affected. <laughs> that sort of opus there. I don't know if he actually noticed that immediately, but Arsenal. Yes. Arcel, that Kagero, I think will just try and go in. But uh, Opus Day mm-hmm. is just holding the entrance of this castle right now, while Purple Dominari is just sitting 
pretty inside this castle, probably holding that choke point here at the entrance of uh, Krem Hill. Yes, they need to be careful, Opus Day, because um, oh, okay. again, if another guild I'm, will I'm, just go in, I'm watching that mechanic. Okay, be... front slide to side of destruction. Oh, oh my no. goodness! <laughs> Look oh. at what happened right there. Wait, what's with the mechanic now? They've been connecting those SDs from uh, one match to another match. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my goodness, the mechanics of Dominari though. Quickly taking okay, out a stack. But Opus Day just wants to quickly go in once again. But Purple Dominari will hold that entrance. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so they are just preparing for uh, another push outside this castle. We have a question here coming from Gabriel. Do Sura still use Gilotin Fist in Warf Imperium or all only Gates of Hell? Um, from what we've seen, think, they yes, still use yeah. Gilotin Fist because yep. still Gilotin Fist is still the highest single target damage attack or skill that you can uh, deal against opponent. Yes. Uh, not really the highest. It depends on your equipment as well, but it has the highest potential rather. If if the build is like straightly uh, like um, gelatin fist build, it mm -hmm. can actually just uh, delete one uh, delete one on the battlefield. Yes, especially with the the god items. If you manage to get your hands on uh, one of those megging cards, uh, especially if you're max level, so it's plus forty strength initially though. <laughs> It's That's plus 40 strength dangerous. initially, then plus, five, plus 1 strength every 5 levels. So it's actually but, pretty, pretty, a pretty strong accessory to use in War of Imperium, especially if you're a guillotine fist type. Uh, it's also useful for Gates of Hell as well because um, it actually uh, contributes to a little bit of your attack power. That's going to be really dangerous if somebody uh, can actually get that. Mm -hmm. For a uh, Sura, or maybe a GX, mm, right? Probably a Guillotine Cross, or maybe a Royal Guard. And, uh, you know, getting your hands on one of uh, the God items will take a really, really long time. You need to win a lot of War of Imperiums, you need to capture a lot of castles, because it takes a yeah. lot of uh, your resources before you can actually unlock those seals and, you know, uh, get a God item. Exactly. And maybe that's why uh, we're seeing these skills right now are, you know, fighting and doing objective um, stuff for mm -hmm. their guild. Maybe they just want to get um, get a piece of that um, god item. Mm -hmm. And the pirates are home with wounds. While Purple Dominari is just quickly holding in this castle right now. So uh, Opus Day just went to Skogo. So actually, we'll try and check it out right now. This is Fat Grid. Skogol is just right here. Oh, we have the priest. Hello, priest. Yeah. So Skogol, no one's okay. outside. Okay. No one's outside Skogol right now. So maybe Opus maybe they just maybe Opus they just conquered it. Then um they don't. The point outside, yeah. Yeah, they're not defending. See what I did no there, MG? I know. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I've been I've been playing the game for for years, but you know, I didn't know that you can go there. Yeah, it's uh, exclusive to Skogo, but no, <laughs> no defense here. No defense. Okay, so we're just trying to check things out. Okay, pirates. Uh, nonsense is not really defending Krem Hill Castle right now. Uh, rather fat grid. So maybe yeah. let's check out different castles. From all we know, uh, Goon, or rather Goons is holding Scarlet Palace right now. Yushuan mm -hmm. Stain is, uh, you know, the favorite map for the GVG fights between guilds. Maybe GVGs, someone is defending yes. right here. Yes, I really like that map um, with its uh, wide um, dimensions. And uh, I think guilds can actually take advantage of that um, spot for a linear GVG map. Mm. Okay, so okay. Dominari just conquered Scarlet Palace right now. So maybe Goons just wants to get uh, an emblem of the Sun God. 
that's why they're aiming for or for Scarlet. Yes, maybe, maybe yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. So mm. just a quick rundown though for those of you who aren't aware who's watching the stream right now, you might be confused of what's going on right now. So what's happening right now is War of Imperium. War of Imperium is a game feature that allows guilds to fight each other in order to conquer a castle for their guild to get benefits and special advantages. Castles captured by guilds participating in War of Imperium spawn treasure chests each day. The boxes spawn in a special room only accessible by the guild leader through the castle NPC. Castles in all realms share common rewards such as War of Imperium potions, siege supply boxes, high weapon boxes, War of Imperium weapon boxes, and so much more. Each castle mm -hmm. also have their own special reward such as Emblem of the Sun God here in Scarlet Palace where we are at right now, Stow Crystal in Kremhild, and... Uh, all castles will differ in their special drop. And uh, these players or these items, players can use them to craft quest headgears and or god items. Yes. All right. So there um, are four castle locations all in all. So we have the Prontera Valkyrie Realm, Payon Balder Greenwood Lake Realm, Geffen Britonia Realm, and Aldebaran Luina Realm. Luinia. Each realm has five castles each. For a total of 20 castles. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Goons will probably hostage this castle right now, but I'm not sure because Red Dominar just put and quickly use that flag warp to go in. So <laughs> I'm not really sure, but we have another guild right there. Me yeah. DX. Maybe there's they're putting a trap there or something. But, um, I mean, I just want to like point this out. Um, I really like the practice of guns right now. That's they've been putting, um, classical pluck on on every defense that they're uh that they're going. Mm -hmm. So I really like the discipline. I really like um, uh, they have a really straight up or like a one strategy when it comes to defense, and that's what I like about um, guns on the defense mode. Yes, and they are just quickly, uh, you know, just going in and making sure they have defense. Although they don't have a lot of numbers right now, but Nemesis Armada <coughs> will also be here in Skogul Castle. So they are not defending yeah. the preempt area, but fr Fratres, we have the Shadow Chaser, and we have Ankle Snares on the floor as well. So. Let's go. I'm pretty ankle sure stick. those uh, ankle snares got triggered, and I think that uh, Fratres Shadow Chaser lived. We'll live for another day. <laughs> but Dominari, we have the Royal Guard that will quickly back down. So maybe he will call for some teammates before they actually go in. Yes, but I think Frat. Uh, I mean, um, Nemesis Armada is aware right now that they've been scouted by. Uh, Dominary. So I'm not sure if um, Nemesis can commit on this one. Um, can we check if they're still defending? Yes. Yeah. So being, uh, they're gonna commit on this. They might actually commit on the defense right now. And uh, you know, Nemesis, Nemesis Armada has been pretty proficient, especially in defense. Although yes. they lack a bit of offensive power because uh, most of their roster is catered more on for the defensive side. So they have more yes. defensive units. They have more experience into defending castles. So that's why uh, they probably need to, uh, need to adjust their roster for the offensive if they ever want to attack a different castle. Yes, I agree on that one. I mean, there's no question that they can, def uh, that they can uh, hold a certain uh, choke point or defend in Imperium. But um, talking about the offense, I think they still need to like polish some things on their lineup and yes you're correct um lineup might be a, a big factor why are uh, there is no pushes coming from uh, nemesis armada mm -hmm. and uh purple dominari i don't know where they are okay so we have people just w going into skogul so maybe that royal guard called for backup and uh, they want to push the castle of Nemesis Armada right now. Fratres is also going to be here. 
Okay, so Let's we have go. Opus Day as well. They're and, not hitting each other. Uh, they probably just want to go in right now. Oh, okay. Maybe they just want to go in, or maybe they are allied. Maybe. Mm -hmm. but Let's go in. Chat. We have comments right here. Uh, why is there no face cam? I cannot see my favorite casters. Well, uh, it's a. It's, it's a issues. long story. Yeah. It's a long story, but yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday though. We'll Tuesday, be back on yeah. Tuesday. You can see us back on Tuesday. Yeah. Happy birthday, liar from Opus Day. Hello and happy birthday to you, liar or LDR. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's liar or Liar, but that diamond liar. does liar. though. That diamond does yeah. just hitting the back lane of. Oh, Nemesis Armada taking a lot of people out. And Rolling Cutter! Oh my goodness! And yeah. that Guillotine Cross is preparing to actually hit the back lane right here. Arrow Storms will land. Fratres, look at uh, uh, the Guillotine Cross right there. Nemesis Armada will fall back to the Imperium. We have the Shadow Chaser just uh, hitting that Imperium right now. Opus Day will quickly go in go. and probably try and hold Suicidal Suicide Destruction. Will, will he land? And, but uh, we'll only take out that Shadow Chaser, but another Iron Storm will land here coming from Nemesis Armada. Opus Day still guys. alive. While uh, Fratres. Fratres. So maybe they are going to give this castle to Fratres or to Opus Day. While Fratres will fall back. And Nemesis Armada, that mechanic. No more Madogear. So. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, we're. Did you see any other, uh, man? That <laughs> okay, so I'm alive. Okay, but you now he's careful, not. Bro. <laughs> not alive anymore, though. But Opus Day will conquer this castle. Then it's nice. Yeah. Nemesis Good Armada will probably, uh, you know, go to a different castle later on. So yeah. Going back uh, to Scarlet. Scarlet. Goons already captured or conquered this castle, so maybe yeah. they get they got wiped out here in the entrance. So that's why uh, they are just quickly regrouping in. But yeah, this is a tough yeah. position. Like um, this is actually a big uh, space when your opponents can actually maneuver left or right on this one. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to uh, stop them, you need to put like multiple. Um, Skills here like vacuum, ankle snare, and so on. Um, for the in order for you to hold them, yes. So you need to be careful, unless you have pretty pretty good amount of players, like uh, what last nightmare did before. They were oh, just yeah. holding, yeah. they were just holding uh, the entrance there of Scarlet Palace, so that's mm -hmm. why, uh, because they have they had a lot of numbers back then. Uh, they were just quickly holding that castle, making sure no one goes in. Yes. Like, every spot is pretty covered. Like, if your guild is gonna commit, you need to have, like, a, a whole guild or a whole guild in, in half to push that defense versus last night. Where, because you know if you're gonna wipe them, there's gonna be a round two inside. Mm -hmm. And let's see now. Nemesis Armada uh conquered this castle earlier on so no defense coming from them is right there let's quickly check a different castle now bamboo grove hill change ownership mm -hmm. okay and yes and to be fair if i'm gonna be playing on a small guild uh on on a roster of a small guild i would probably do uh like multiple caps like mm -hmm. cap up an empty castle then move to another castle because again we're talking about like the resources we're talking about the uh um requirements for the uh god item right mm -hmm. and of course the uh event has just you know ended definitely a lot of resources ha uh, got burnt on on that um event as well so i think people from the small guilds and even in the big guilds are still trying to recover those um, resources and supplies that they have burned during the um, the event. 
of Warf Imperium? Probably you could think of it that way. But yeah. I think most of them are eager to get their hands on a god item as well. Because yeah. uh, like what I said earlier, it's pretty difficult to actually craft a god item because you need to unlock all the seals. And uh, yeah. speaking of seals though, uh, we are going to talk about that later on. And uh, we have some information about the god item quest in the Discord. So make sure you do check it out. And uh, make sure to join the ROGGH Discord as well. Wait, All I right. have a question um, regarding the god item. Like, if I'm going to put like Ah, uh, nah. I think it's not gonna work. Never mm -hmm. mind. Like, uh, is there any god item like for gunslinging? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> there Just is. Imagine, right? Yeah. There, there probably is. Uh, I'm. Sh I think you can equip a bracing gun, but like, I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but but you won't need. Like you won't need the, it. the question. Like the question there, can I compete on the uh on on the third class now if I have that? No. Like <laughs> no. <laughs> Still no. Your stats oh are miles far, far away from like uh, fully chat items, the class. like high 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 ups a gear still. No, there, right? No, you will have no chance. Even if you have a fully equipped gunslinger, you will get outdone by a single See, arrow I'm storm. CM's really so rebellion now, please. <laughs> okay, Help me. Uh, uh, MG again with his gunslinger talk. We're not gonna, you know, there. It's gonna be the next big thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be. But anyway, though, while uh, <laughs> we are watching the defense of goons here right now. MG, let's actually talk about the other ongoing events that are in the game. Uh, but oh. first, let's actually talk about the cash shop or the new addition in the cash shop, which is the Moonlit Egg. And it's now available in the cash shop. You can obtain special items like sealed Dracula card, shadow equipment box, and costume rotating gear. And it's going to be only until the 29th of September. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, pretty good amount of items right there. Like, and... I like, like I saw uh, one chat. I think, I think it's not only one chat. I've been seeing that chat um, on the Discord general that they've been requesting for a new egg. Like mm -hmm. they've been tagging Kai, where's the new egg, egg reveal, and so on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think uh, that's the uh, uh, that the players have that been waiting for. They've been yeah. waiting for that uh, yeah. new egg. I, I, I'm not sure why <coughs> that's how they ask for <laughs> the reveal yeah. of the egg. No, 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 it's, yeah, it's actually hashtag egg reveal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's hashtag egg reveal. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, but it it, ha it happens in Discord though. So yeah, uh, if you're not familiar though, you can actually chat in the general area or the general chat in Discord. You can chat yeah. with your friends right there or other community members. <clears throat> then uh, I'm pretty sure they will reply to you guys uh, within the day, because some of them might yeah. not be online at that time. So, like, but but yeah. to be fair, to be fair, most of the people in the squad in our Ragnarok Discord, they're most of them are really nice and helpful, like mm -hmm. legit man. Like, I have one problem, like I cannot teleport from one area to another area, and this guy just gave me like you know, okay, just use this butterfly wing, you know, go go wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty nice and very helpful as well. Yeah, and uh. You don't even have a butterfly? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna take that back. Like, they gave me something. <laughs> but, no, I, I do have, but uh, they gave me a different butterfly wing where you can go and teleport to Yuno and so on. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, I, oh, it's a colored. It's a colored butterfly wing. It's where a you colored, can yeah. There is a red. There's, yeah, 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 they gave you a butterfly wing box. All right. Box. Yeah, there you that, go. Right? That's what they give you, right? 
the butterfly yep. wing box. So you can yep. choose a, ca uh, a city where you want to go to. But yep. Infinix Reborn is here in Mercedes Castle. So we have two players from uh, Infinix Reborn just scouting out and about. And let's quickly go to go back to Krem Hill. Pirates is still outside. Yep. In Fadgrid, uh, what's the name of Chow? this build? I think that's Chow. Is this Chow? I think so. Uh, let me double check that again later. But we have a question uh, from Kai. James and MG, do you think Hi. GGH has a chance against GGL? Hmm. Uh, okay, oh, just... so MG first. MG first. All right, all right. Okay, okay. dude, I just realized that GGL is gra uh, um, Gravity uh, Game Link. I actually searched for about, uh, about GGL. But regarding Kai's question, if GGH has a chance to uh, uh, against GGL, I'm gonna say yes, like hundred percent, hundred one percent, yes. Why? Because uh, we've been seeing multiple guilds uh, on small scale, large scale fights. The discipline, you know, there you have a lot of things to consider um, before you you say that can they match between um, GGL. But my uh, basis is gonna be the discipline. Of, uh, of a guild mm -hmm. like for example dominari is very well disciplined um if they committed one error um i'm talking about the red dominari first like if they're gonna commit one error or they know that the enemy uh you know managed to counter them immediately on on a certain meta the adjustment on that guild is instant like in a snap they're gonna adjust and they're gonna you know we're gonna tie the score or even we're gonna Two, two, one, you guys, mm -hmm. or even two zero without any, uh, you, you know, for you guys to react on our strategy. So yes, um, hundred percent. There's a big chance we have multiple guilds that's very um, active and uh, committed to the game. Um, but we have uh, new guilds that join the, uh, you know, the the lineup for the seven v seven. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited, but for me, hundred percent, definitely. GGH can bag it up, you know. Yeah, and uh, I agree with you there, MG. Um, I think both GGH and GGL has an even chance. Uh, I haven't yeah. seen how GGL, GGL's players on how they play, so yeah. uh, I I won't know that definitely for sure, but. Uh, based on my observance from uh, in a uh, GGH though, yeah, uh, our players here in GGH are skilled. They have good coordination, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> the qualified guilds all will also have uh, seven players to represent them, of course, and uh, yeah. GGH, and uh, they are all aiming for that uh, prize pool as well, and for the glory to be the winner in this tournament. Definitely. It's going to be a big thing because if you actually win this tournament, aside from the prize money, you will get a, you know, a recognition from GGH like, and GGL. Yes. Because uh, it's a it's a it's a coordination for both GGH and GGL to have this tournament, though. So, uh, yeah, this both both uh, GGH and GGL has a. Uh, chance of winning the tournament but uh we'll know for sure when the time that 7v7 comes or gvg comes because uh it's going to be pretty interesting as i think maybe teams will be shuffled and uh they will all be uh shuffled against one another probably yeah most likely yeah and that's why I'm very excited about the seven v seven. At the same time, the guilds who participated in the event and those people who got the slots as well. Um, all I can say is, you know, uh, it's gonna be a a very very uh, you know exciting uh, fights that we're gonna see, and I'm actually rooting as well that hopefully hopefully i'm crossing my fingers that we can see one ggh guilds in the final mm -hmm. finals 
Okay, yeah. so actually, while well, we were talking about that, Arsenal and uh, Dominari just quickly went in to try and take down the defense of Goons, and they successfully did so. And uh, Arsenal just, uh, I, I don't know, maybe they want to leave that Shadow Chaser behind. But yes. Arsenal and Goons <clears throat> right now. Arsenal just wants to push Colette Palace. Maybe they want to take a hold of the Emblem of the Sun God. Maybe they don't want to defend this castle that much. The flag warp already has been uh, taken a hold of by Arsenal. Or maybe Goons is really quick into regrouping right now. No defense, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Ooh. so no defense coming no, from No, no defense. Goons, yeah. Okay. So Arsenal will just quickly take Scarlet Palace right now. Okay. And I don't know what happened to Goose right there. Uh, they probably just tried to defend it, but uh, Dominari just kept on uh, pestering them at that time. Then Arsenal, you know, they weren't prepared for Arsenal's push because Arsenal just quickly went in. They went in as a group. They just uh, moved together and uh, no skills were casted there at the portal because of uh, the sole member of Dominari or maybe that maybe that's a Shadow Chaser and Royal Guard earlier uh, there in um, the stack of uh, goons earlier. That's why goons got a little bit startled. They don't have skills casted on the portal. That's why Arsenal, they didn't take a lot of damage when they went in. Exactly. I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, in the same time, I think, uh, they should be scouting outside the castle as well. Like, who's, whose guild is gonna attack us, or, like, what guild is waiting outside? Mm -hmm. Like, are they gonna push? Are they buffing now? Like, in, in 30 seconds, are they gonna attack now? They should have, like, those type of scouting in order for them to, you know, to concentrate the damage or turn off the damage if there's no enemies and so on. So, I think uh, the guild should have them. Oh, okay. So, it wasn't Arsenal though. It was Red Dominari who conquered Scarlet Palace. Oh. Uh, okay. A scratch? Uh, oh. Maybe it's that Shadow Chaser that they left behind. <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened. It was Arsenal like, was... hitting. It was Arsenal hitting that Imperium earlier though. Okay, uh, what a quick turn, <laughs> turn around. Yeah. But let's take a look at Skogol and Gondu. Mm -hmm. For Skogol, uh, Fratres has Skogol. Swanhild just, has just been captured. And uh, we don't visit Swanhild that often, though. Yes. We don't visit Swanhild that often. So, uh, let's try and visit it now. Maybe there are people inside. Oh, and is that Sh Shuya from Dominari? From Purple Dominari? Because uh, I know that Shuya is the guild leader of Purple Dominari, though. Yeah. Okay, so is Arsenal committing the defense here in Swanhild? Again, we don't visit this castle that often because... Uh, it's this is like an abandoned castle. Yes, like maybe the people doesn't like the like the square maze at the middle. But they don't. Oh, yeah. They probably One. don't like the layout. But it's a pretty good way to defend your castle, and uh, it's yeah. a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard. An up lie. It's a little bit hard to defend the uh, Swan Hill, but if you successfully defend it. Uh, you know, you'll be able to reap the rewards, but most of the guilds, you know, just want to take that castle as their uh, a last minute break or so. Yes, and that castle, if you're gonna lock it up, like, Ooh. whoa, oh. okay, Yo. so Opus Day and Goons, though, they're not hitting each other. Uh, okay. Oh. So well, maybe, this is good, though. Yeah, yeah, so maybe they want to contest the defense of Red Dominari right now. Okay, oh, so we might see a, a good battle right here. Goons yeah. and Opus Day. And uh, oh. back in the qualifiers, though, they were really allied with one another. Yep. And their synergy uh, is pretty uh, 
really nice and mm -hmm. it's it's a snap like they click immediately like you know, no adjustment anymore on their side. And right now, Red Dominari is pushing in now. Heavy pressure there coming from Red Dominari. And Red Dominari is not pushing through that um, bridge. But right oh. now, counter initiation coming from Opus Day and Arrow Storms are connecting to multiple goons at Opus Day. And Opus Day and goons got wiped out by Dominari. Dominari, those consistent land, uh, land protector. Numas and Battle Chance uh, actually um, one of the key factors why they won that um, clash. So very nice coordination and good push there coming from Dominari. All right. Oof. And uh, Dominari though, what a good way to actually push your opponents out. Uh, if you actually saw that what Dominari did right there earlier, they came from the bridge. Most of them came from the bridge, all right? Most of their back lane. They have yeah. some Suras, uh, they have some Royal Guards there in the bridge, but mm -hmm. they also came from outside the portal. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, there, there were a lot of Rune Knights and Royal Guards just outside the portal. And uh, when the, they got closer to the bridge, they went mm -hmm. in from both sides and they just quickly wiped everyone out in the entrance of the castle. So what a good yes. way to defend. Yes, and like I said, scouting is the key. They need to find out what is the uh, like the entrance or where is the uh, enemy is. And I think um, it's just I think Dominari during that time was really aggressive. Mm -hmm. They're not giving any room for um, Opposite and Boots to react on their pushes. Yes, they didn't actually give any time for. Obus Day and uh, Goons to regroup perfectly there in the entrance, but maybe they will try again. Oh, okay, yeah. so Opus Day will try once again along with... Uh, no, they are by themselves while they are going to hold the entrance of this castle right now. Goons is going to go all, uh, in along with them. And uh, look at their yeah. lineup right now. It's more on for the sustain damage yes. rather than the... Uh, what you call this rather than the most of the the attacking the offense like they don't have a yes. lot of royal guards they don't have a lot of rune knights but they have some back lane damage so they yeah. need to qu quickly take out the land protector or the sorcerer that's casting that land protector in the stack there of uh, dominari if they want to push in or they need to quickly take out uh, the surrounding members and what we saw earlier though was Dominari quickly utilizing their mechanic as well so just yes. use that front slide go in that stack of office day or domina or goons then just land that suicidal destruction that perfectly yeah. to wipe out everyone yes I think uh, it's gonna be really hard if you're gonna aim for the sorcerer again if a good sorcerer can um, you know can do a quick switching then hide while um, after dropping the land protector, that's going to be a big problem, you know. And most of the sorcerers that we have right now in game, they've been using that to dodge those um, attacks or dodge those uh, debuff as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So Opus Day and Goons preparing themselves for this push, and I think Red Dominari. Oh no, no, Opus Day also has a hold oh! of this portal. And okay, Dominari is just on the other side. They're just scouting. Look at that Royal Guard though. Maybe when maybe when they push in, that Royal Guard will surprise them as well. Yes. Yeah, right. um in the same time, I just want to uh, say this, like the Opus Day and Go and Stand them, it it's actually leveling. Uh it's it's growing. Right? So this community that they have right now or this um, tandem that they have right now they've been using this tandem to take out like major guilds like we, we saw that versus last nightmare we saw uh we saw this lineup versus personal we saw this lineup now versus dominari so it only means that here we go mandragora Oof. 
Yes. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. You know, Domina are really doing a good job. <laughs> yes. Um. Again, if 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 you're gonna go deep on on commanding, I think one of the factors that you need to consider is the lineup for enemy, and which character are they uh, using most when it comes to pushing as well. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to do a quick counter. Uh, try to check their um, lineup, pick off their support maybe, or take out those squishies first before you, uh, you know, go for the big, um, big push, and check your lineup as well. Where uh, you need to check your strengths, your weaknesses, to avoid any errors, and at the same time to win as well. So I think that's my take on, on the lineup, and I think Dominaris just, you know. Taking advantage. I forgot how to navigate inside, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's here. Right, it's here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I just want to check what's inside Sacred Palace. Because Gulf has a hold of this castle right now. But I'm pretty sure no one's defending. So, yeah. Bite Arbor, no one. here right now though in Gulf. Yep. So no one's probably defending your Bugar as well. So let's quickly check Friend Hills and Castle. Maybe Arsha will be here again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Big damage here coming from nonsense. And uh, I'm not really there you sure go. how Dominari will push this. And uh, nonsense needs to actually put back that uh, classical flock if they want to defend. And I think Dominari is just waiting outside. This purple Dominari. And uh, they had a hard time taking down that Dragon's Breath mm -hmm. or that Rune Knight from uh, purple Dominari earlier. Yes. So they need and to be quick though. They need to be resilient into actually uh, casting those skills to take down the opposing uh, guild. Yep. And I think uh, right now they're just trying to uh, regroup here and uh, wait for the their entire members. Mm -hmm. Oof. 
And right now though, Purple Dominari. And I'm not sure if w Nonsense wants to push out right now because uh, look at the positioning of Purple Dominari. They are not beside that portal to prevent, of course, uh, what uh, Adonis is usually doing along with Arsenal. Using that uh, Curse Circle, then Suicidal Destruction to actually eliminate the, the whole stack. Yep. Okay. Alright. Okay, so neutral barrier on coming from this mechanic. We, they have two classical oh, plus on the floor. There. Okay, so let's see if the damage will be enough. That mechanic got taken out, and uh, I think it was a, just it was just a quick scout coming from yep. uh, purple dominary right there. They have that royal guard. They want to take down the classical pull lock first, and I think that's a good call for dominary. Yes. But again, we're talking about a double classical block here. We be, uh, we saw this um, last um, session that the double classical block is very effective for this map. Mm -hmm. And uh, the positioning of the nonsense, though, they have a lot of numbers right now. And uh, red and purple Dominari, so it's oh, going to be a full force attack coming from Dominari here right go. here. I'm not sure if... Uh, Nonsense can survive. Let's turn off our oh. effects. Look at what's going to happen right here. Dragon's Breath will land. And look at the members of Nonsense. They are land getting protector. eliminated one by one. Land Protector also is out of destruction. The stack of Nonsense right there. But it will ah. not connect. Because uh, he got uh, interrupted before actually going in. But same goes for Nonsense. They have that mechanic right here. But not actually casting that suicide destruction right now. But he got eliminated as, per as Red and Purple Dominari will just quickly yeah. eliminate Nonsense and take a hold of this uh, flag warp. Yes. Um, it's it's really impressive to see uh, a double... Um, classical clock here. They managed to pull the entire force of Dominari, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, good defense there, or good um, defense coming from Nonsense. And I think uh, Dominari is kind of serious on that. It's like the double classical clock push there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a pretty good offense coming from uh, Dominari right there. Because honestly, two classical blocks is a little bit annoying to deal with. Especially if you don't have, uh, you know, a sufficient amount of supplies and equipment to deal with uh, the, the firepower from the ongoing um, skills from Warlocks and Sorcerers as well as uh, the, the Rangers and Rune Knights. But yes. Dominari showed... Uh, that uh, they are really dominant into, you know, pushing other guilds away or out from the castle. And Opus Dei is waiting outside along with Nonsense. Opus Dei, okay, just quickly taking a hold of this entrance right now. And uh, they have decent numbers again, like what uh, we've uh, seen earlier. But Arrow Storms will land against Opus Dei. And uh, Madrigal Howling by Aftershock. And this is the dynamic duel once again from Aftershock. That Genetic and Sura. And uh, they are holding, um, defending for each other while Opus Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Red Dominari is just outside using that Madrigal Howling. Just affecting though Opus <laughs> Day right now. Yes. I think uh, the Madrigal, as long as it's, uh, it can. You can see them on their screen. They can actually get affected by that. Mm -hmm. And look at Red Oof. Dominari right now. Look at the annoying Shadow Chaser coming from Red Dominari. He's still alive. Flash combo mm -hmm. will not take him out. He's uh, probably hidden right now. And that Shadow Chaser is still alive. Look at the Shadow Chaser go though. And he's just the only one uh, pestering Opus Day right now. Maybe Goons will come in as well to uh, help them out into pushing this castle yeah Nemesis Armada and uh, Opus Day taking hold of this entrance and Dominari might be at the choke point right now but uh, they might repeat what they did earlier uh, while Dominari uh, is defending they want to push out their opponents away from the entrance yeah. using both the entrance portal and uh, you know they regroup or they group inside 
while Opus Day yes. they want to push in right now. Goons is not there with them currently, but they they, they didn't leave they didn't leave anyone behind to guard that portal. Yes, I think that's a that's actually a good move coming from Opus Day. They need to move quickly. Like if the command is uh, is you know move inside, everyone should move inside. No AFK. Um, that should prevent any delays or any um regroup coming from the you know the defender side or mm -hmm. somebody will uh to avoid those contests yes and uh, they don't want to go in right now okay so no defense vanishing point will get casted look at that our uh, oh. uh ranger get eliminated here and that royal guard still alive as in bobs will land right there and uh dominari use is taking a use of that hide that they ha uh, actually that equipment that they have to actually hide Yep. And this port, the Kremlin Castle just got conquered, though. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, what is it has been conquered by cancer? Oh. Okay. So, uh, Opus Day. They want to quickly push in. That Shadow Chaser just using the halter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> go, man. <Classic>. Go. <laughs> Let's go. go. All right, you can do it, Shadow Chaser. You can do it. Uh, I think you'll just scout. Maybe try and break Kremhild Castle right now. But uh, I'm pretty sure Cancer has no defense. But uh, they might leave that breaker. Either It's either a Guilting Cross or a Royal Guard who broke that. Or maybe that's a Ranger. Mm. But we haven't seen him enter. So it's probably a Guilting Cross though. Okay, okay, so two guillotine crosses. Uh I'm not sure if that Shadow Chaser can survive. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Shadow Chaser, Opus Day. That those guillotine cross maybe hit themselves? Or maybe yeah. they use that butterfly wing. Uh yeah, maybe they use that butterfly wing and will opt for a different castle this time around. Okay, so I think Opus Day is just gonna hold this right now, and heavy pressure there on the entrance, very well uh, distributed damage there, but I think they, oh, they have the vacuum as well, so that will actually help them to hold someone there. Mm -hmm. And Opus Day just holding, the, guarding the entrance right now, and Dominari has Fat Good Castle, let's see who has Kogo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna walk. It's, it's just near though. Cool. Well, Nemesis <laughs> Armada. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no one's, no one's at the entrance. Maybe they're back inside the M yeah. room because well, that's usually yes, they're but... defending. Okay, so uh, oh. I think they're back. No one's defending. No yeah. one's defending though. Yeah. Yes. But we're seeing it so... in action. Okay, Opus Day. Opus Day joining Opus Day. in. Okay. Oh, oh. The hide. Come on, let's go, guys. He's gonna break it. Okay, so Opus Day is focused into killing that uh, Guillotine Cross, his opponent or her opponent. While uh, Alfheim is focused into breaking that Imperium. But Opus Day will actually take down the member of Alfheim right there and take this castle for Opus mm -hmm. Day. Unless there's yes. going to be another one. <laughs> there might Did be another he, one. Uh... Oh, yeah. Which one's day? Fratres is actually here. So, let's see. Okay, so Fratres will break this castle. We'll probably take a hold of this as well. Nonsense is uh, nowhere to be found right yes. now so they might be in gondu so yes and i think well. yes i think most of the guilds right now are just uh split up and uh they try they're just trying to break as much castle as they can or they're just trying to break as much imperium as they can mm -hmm. right now and occupy uh the castle so yeah, because, right now, mm -hmm. yeah because it's the last 35 minutes of the war of imperium 
And uh, yes. because of the god item quest, maybe they want to maximize on uh, the treasure that they can get after the War of Imperium. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to Gondo. Uh, Cancer, though. Yeah. Okay, uh, Swanhild. Again, this castle, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure no one's guarding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one's yeah. guarding, though. Okay, so but, it, yeah. it's held by pirates. Yes. And like you mentioned earlier, like we're talking about like 20 castles open right now. Mm -hmm. And the most of the guilds are just gonna, you know, scatter around and break stuff here. And definitely if you're like a small guild right now um, in our server, definitely you can get one or two or cast, uh, one or two castles mm -hmm. for your guild. Okay, so we're now here in Hohenschwang Go. Purple Dominari just wants to push in. Probably not. Oh, so it's Vadark and he has a friend now. Here we go. Vadark, Vadark has a friends. friend. No. Okay, but Vadark got eliminated by Purple Dominari. What? Yeah, there were a lot uh, of uh, players of a Dominari, but okay. Sword. So there still, are two players still. on Sword now. Okay, so, so recruit more members of Vadark. <laughs> it's it's Swords now, not Sword. <laughs> it's your time to shine. So Vadark along yeah. with uh, the Warlock friend. Yeah, I think Vadark last time watched our stream, and I forgot his name. I'm not sure if that's uh, Vadark, but... Yeah, if you're watching right now, Vadark, what's up? Let's go. Mm -hmm. So right now, this uh, Dominari is uh, calling for a regroup here outside of this portal. Dragon's Breath will land right there. And I think Nonsense. Oh. Okay, decent hold time from Nonsense. Again, double. they are going to use that Ooh. double yeah, classical double pull up. Nemesis Armada oh is there with them as well. So the alliance has continued both for Nemesis Armada and Nonsense. Yes. Like, right. uh, I think Nonsense is aware that um, Dominaris is going to have a hard time on facing a double classical block on this one. But the question there is, can they burst down Dominari instantly before they swarm in on the mid part of the classical block? No. So, yeah. Let's see though. Uh, Dominari actually fell back. Maybe they, they want out? to yeah. um, check the entrance first, or maybe they want to regroup outside. Actually, yeah, Dominari yeah. or oh, Arsenal because Arsenal oh. is there. Yeah. So that's why they fell back. So maybe they are going to regroup at a different spot. Okay. Oh no no no! They're, they're just here. They're just here. Here we go, boys. Okay, so it's Purple Dominari, Aftershock, along with Arsenal right here. Arsenal just uh, retreating right now. And yeah, uh, yeah. this is uh, an emblem, though. This is an emblem. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I got confused there for a bit, but I think that's an emblem. Is it? Yes. Is it or is it it's just, it's a text? I'm not really text? sure. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Okay, so whoever that is, whoever that is, uh, not. I think it's a, just an emblem. Just an emblem. Okay, but the uh, purple dominari will just uh go here outside of this uh castle to hold this entrance right now. Then Arsenal won't have a chance into pushing them from behind. Well, Nonsense is just sitting pretty inside that preempt area, just holding that uh, portal to make sure no one pushes them out. Yes. But uh, it has been a hot castle, though, the Hohenschwang, though. And uh, Nonsense really likes this castle because we haven't been seeing uh, Nonsense that often, and they're, they're just here in this castle usually. Yep. Okay. So, I think this is going to be the push that uh dominari needs to concentrate with like i want to see like a solo uh purple dominari taking down um nonsense um super defense inside of this castle mm -hmm. okay i think this is gonna be a good fight 
So let's see on how um, Purple Dominari takes this castle away from nonsense. Maybe they're just waiting for Arsenal right here. They want to hold this portal for now. Because Arsenal might be outside. They might be waiting mm -hmm. outside. They might be regrouping outside right now as we speak. So Dominari, of course, they just want to hold this portal for now. Then maybe quickly go in after they deal with Arsenal right here. Yes. So we have a comment right here. Vadrak, let me join your guild. I have level 175 mechanic. Have three-man guild. I like it. All right. So Vadrak, you if go. you're watching right now, though. Oh, it's Vadrak or Vad Vadark? Vadark, yeah. Oh, so uh, Vadrak or Vadark. Okay, from Sword. So three-man guild, warlock, mechanic, and royal guard. Ooh, decent lineup, though. It's like it's like you're preparing for a seven versus seven. <laughs> All you need is a Sura, an Archbishop, and uh, probably um, uh, what do you call this? A minstrel. Okay, yeah. so no, 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 it's Nacho Cheese Price along with Zumli, and so Vadrak is in here. No royal guards as of now, so it's a two-person guild. So maybe it's not really a, a, a two-man guild earlier. There are three people. Ranger yeah. and Warlock. Okay, so that's a magic damage plus a long-range damage right now. Not, not, not sure. Maybe someone's <laughs> waiting outside. Yeah. Just uh, slowly. They're just slowly trying, <laughs> trying to damage this uh, sorcerer of Dominari. Yes. Okay, so let's uh, check outside. Nonsense. Just scouting using that guillotine cross. So maybe mm -hmm. they move to a different castle right now. Yeah, I think they just moved out on a different castle right now. Mm -hmm. Arsenal. Okay, so Arsenal is going back to Kremhild. Well, Opus Day is guarding though. Aftershock yep. will be here as well. Opus Day, what uh, defense are, are they doing? Did they offer that portal defense? I think they did. So if they have a classical block as well, they might be able to defend this against Arsenal. But yes. let's see now. Okay, so not a lot of defense here coming from Opus Day. Maybe they just got wiped out there from the entrance. Maybe they were at the entrance earlier. Arrow Storms wouldn't connect right there as Opus Day will take a hold of the preempt area right now and Arsenal needs to regroup if they really want Kremhild Castle. Oh. Alright. So let's see okay. now. Arsenal. Uh, maybe they're outside. Okay, so they're just waiting. Arsenal is just waiting though. Well, Red Dominary is going to be there as well. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where Arsenal is regrouping. Since Opus Day has decent hold in the pre -imp area, maybe Arsenal yeah. will, will, wants to take advantage of that because uh, there's no classical Pollock setup as of now. Yeah. So my, they might operate for it soon. They might uh, come back to actually catch the classical, classical Pollock. But Arsenal preparing to go inside and take out okay. Opus Day. Goons isn't here with them right now though. Yes. Okay, Arsenal utilizing that mechanic will go in first. Front slide, Arsenal. Okay, uh, not go. a lot of hap not a lot sure. is happening right here. That mechanic is still He's alive, but that, that curse circle though. Two curse circles coming from Arsenal. Okay. And uh, that's going to be it for Opus Day as Arsenal will just hold the the entirety of their back lane with two curse yes. circles coming from Arsenal. Death. And uh, what a great push coming and... from Arsenal right there. Yes. Suicidal Destruction didn't land, but that curse circle though made a huge impact for Arsenal to push in and take out the defenders of Opus Day. Yep. And I think Opus they did a good job there as well. They tried their best to contest um, Arsenal there. They, they uh, put everything on 
on that area as well but apparently Arsenal is just you know um, is aware on what's happening and they took advantage on that one and they managed to connect immediately at the back lane during that push yes and Arsenal will just hold the flag warp of this castle so let's quickly check Fad Grid as well Red Dominar is the castle holder I'm not sure okay no one's here Let's check different castles as well. This is Kogo. Uh, okay, I don't know what guild that is. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what guild that is. So let's take a look at Hohen Shuango as well, since Nonsense was holding that castle castle earlier. So maybe Dominaria Pink decided to push in. Or yeah. Predominary Purple, rather. Okay, so sword. Okay, so it's back to that royal guard plus ranger. So they 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 oh. omitted they omitted that warlock maybe. Maybe. So but... it's really a two person guild. <laughs> okay, at least I know what guild to join now. Like if I join a uh, bad art. Team. Okay, so it's a uh, sword versus <laughs> dominari, purple dominari. Va Vadrak, oh, oh, it's say... Vadrak. Okay, I think Vadrak, Vadrak okay. used that uh, butterfly wing, but Purple Dominari will regroup once again to try and take down Nonsense, who is defending uh, this castle yes. right now. That's actually good. Okay. Let's see now. Based on the defense of Nonsense earlier, do you think that uh dominari has a chance of actually taking them out especially knowing how uh purple dominari pushes a castle what do you think mg um i mean dominari pushing the castle right now yeah on this well i think dominari needs to regroup properly here um are mm -hmm. if if they're gonna ask a help again for um, red dominari i think the win rate is gonna go up but if it's a like a 1v1 setup coming from dominari and the defender it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a difficult mm -hmm. it's gonna be a difficult on the side of dominari but again let's see um as long as the defender can burst down dominari members i think they're good they're mm -hmm. good to go on this so yes. that's the only that's the only factor here um uh, the class the classical pluck is good but the question there can they take down the members of dominar so let's see now they are actually preparing to go in so royal guards and mechanics first along with that sorcerer that other classical oh, pluck got removed but nemesis oh. armada uh okay oh. nonsense is not here a single classical pluck and there's no one contesting dominari definitely it's gonna be a, an all uh an all in push uh nonsense what wasn't what happened to nonsense happened? though i'm not sure what happened to nonsense what? only nemesis armada was there did they did they uh did they just left um nemesis armada there okay what? so uh maybe they want to re-enter and break again probably i'm not i don't know but they have a solid defense there. Um, double classical clock, high ground defense, uh, ground control players. It's it's a well uh, it's a well set up um, position. So I'm not sure why they. Yeah, uh, maybe nonsense just gave it away. I'm not sure. I I I don't understand why uh, they need to fight out there. Maybe they want to try a different castle now. Or, or maybe they 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 are aware that Dominari won't stop pushing on that side or on that castle. That's, That's why they just uh, went out and uh, choose a uh, a different castle. That's probably one possibility because Dominari already has a hold of um, that flag warp. But Nemesis Armada will go in here uh, in Scarlet Palace. Maybe Nonsense is there with them. So they're yeah. just here to scout around and probably take a few hits against that Imperium. Yeah. 
Okay, so Nemesis Armada. Using those wargs. Okay, so they they are now setting up their defense. So they will probably break this and take it all for themselves. Yes. Fratres is here in Bright Arbor. No defense mm -hmm. for Fratres, I think. So Well, I think definitely Fratres will just uh wait inside in the Imperium. I think that's more logical versus um putting a defense outside. Um, it could actually alert the players that Fratres might be defending. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe they just want to want the attackers run and burn some time there. So that's why uh, they're just focusing inside. Okay. Yeah. And uh, right now, Dominari is outside of your Brigar. Uh, and Opus Day. Oh, Opus Day. Opus Day is here. Uh, I think they just. Oh uh, yeah, they just conquered your Brigar. So they're probably gonna hold this castle. They have the classical clock on the floor, and Opus Day has decent numbers right now to actually uh, try and defend. But you know that Royal Guard once again just quickly went in the stack there of Opus Day using that overbrand to actually take oh. everyone out, and he's all by himself. He's all by himself. Like imagine how tanky is that player um, coming side, um, coming from the side of Dominari, or imagine if Dominari has like ten players of that same item on the side of Dominari. So that's gonna be really painful on the on the players who's gonna fight them. So wow. I think what Opus they needed was more ground control. Again, they have yes. the firepower, they have those genetics, they have those rangers, they have those sorcerers, and they have a yes. royal guard as well. But not enough not enough suras to actually use that curse circle, to use a guillotine fist to probably cause a high single target damage attack, or maybe just uh, cast some gates of fell to damage your opponent. Yes, I agree. Um, I think it... I mean, if you're gonna put like other classes like uh, Shadow Chaser that can actually, you know, uh, remove them, um, take down some items on their side. Maybe that could actually help to lessen the firepower or even the defense of the enemy. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, Shadow Chaser is a very important and vital role for um, the utility um, classes. They can actually support you in many ways, including um, Preventing one enemy to have its full potential on attacking, so Charo Chaser can actually stop them. Yes, and Opus Day just landing those hits against Purple Dominari, who just quickly scouted. Maybe Dominari will enter in just a bit. No, no one's outside. No, okay. So let's check the Kremhild Castle again. Yes, Arsenal, no one's holding. Opus Day has a hold of uh, Fad Grid. Referion, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Dominari is holding. Dominari, yeah. And back here in Neuschwanstein, is that is this what nonsense wants to take? Oh, this is Fratres, um Castle. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna still like push other castles. Again, if you know what items is going to be on the quest for the seals, I think uh, it's very logical to go and cap those castles immediately. Mm -hmm. But right now, though, Nonsense just wants to take this castle away from Fratres. Maybe Fratres is defending right now. We only have 15 minutes left in our current Warf Imperium yes. session. And uh, Fratres versus Nonsense. Yeah. So let's see now. Maybe Fratres is really holding this castle. Okay, so Fratres has a good defense right now inside. So it will take some time for Nonsense to push in. Let's see if Nonsense will be successful. So they are just going to regroup right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so while they are doing so, MG. Here we go. Uh, actually, let's talk about that oh. later. But what happened right there? It's just yeah. an arrow storm coming from Fratres. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. 
So uh, they are going to hold this flag warp right now. While nonsense, uh, they are going to quickly regroup outside. They so that's why them. MG. Yes. Uh, the the strategy of Dominari earlier in Kremhild when we saw it, it's pretty. Um, what do you call this? It's pretty practical. Because they are not beside that castle, it can prevent that mechanic and Sura from using that curse circle plus suicidal destruction to wipe out your stack. Yes. Uh, it can also prevent other damage attacks like arrow storms getting casted on you or dragon's breath. Because uh, it's pretty difficult. If uh, they're just going to use those skills, then go inside the portal again. Use skills, then go inside again. Yes, that's actually true. And I think uh, right now, um, they just need to check the time as well. Um, again, I think Nonsense doesn't have like that a lot of castles right now, right? Mm -hmm. So they need to move fast if they really want to get those um, resources up and running on their side. And yeah, they need to have like one successful push. After one successful push, uh, they can actually spread out and cap multiple objectives after yes. this. And right now, nonsense. Just holding all Fratres. Just use this that lag warp. And uh, Fratres wa may, might want to take a different approach because uh, <clears throat> they can go in from the entrance. Then they can yes. probably hold that entrance instead. Yes. Instead of just going inside and blindly dying from the meteor storms and skills getting casted from nonsense right now. Mm -hmm. They can opt to hold that entrance to actually prevent nonsense from pushing in, or other yes. guilds in that manner. Yep. Or if I'm gonna be on the side of Fratres is defending right now, I would really uh, check the stack of uh, nonsense right now. If there's gonna be an opportunity, like it will only take like one or two uh, or two players. To uh, destroy this entire stack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so into his Isle of Destruction, oh. no, will not connect. But Mandragora no. Howling landed though on Pratest. Well, nonsense, uh, a quick push coming from them right now to take out the remaining that's... members of Pratest right there. And they're just going to quickly walk beside that Imperium. Maybe use that, uh, use their op this opportunity to, uh, what they call this, to hostage the castle. But if they do yeah. that though, Fratres will have a chance to regroup outside that portal because the flag warp is just near. Yep. And and I think um it's it's I mean they just put like a, a classical block there, yes. Classical block is a is a big factor on the defense. But again, uh you need to put something on on each cell in order for your enemies not to move and stay on that um on that entrance and that's where fratres failed to uh you know to cover so that's why um nonsense managed to take advantage they're not being contested they can move around inside the classical block and that movement gave the opportunity for their guild to crush the defense of fratres Mm -hmm. Right now, Purple Dominari is holding Scarlet. Fratres still has a bright arbor, though. So, Opus Day, yeah. they were holding Eeyore Brigar earlier. So, maybe they're still here. Okay. So, very, very solid defense coming from Opus Day right now. But uh, they got uh, wiped out by a single Royal Guard from Red Dominari. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, he's back again for more, but uh, I think Opus Day learned their lesson. So they are yeah. now quickly spread out. They have that sacrifice <laughs> casted on the back lane as well. Yes. So while Opus Day is defending their castle right now, MG, let's do talk about the events that are currently in game, like the Foreign Island yeah. event. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. So Foreign Island can be accessed up to three times per day. It resets at 4 uh, a.m. daily. Yes. Alright. So the first entry is free. While second and third entry requires 1 and 2 Pouring Island entry ticket respectively. Pouring, yes. island, ticket, pouring island, island entry tickets can be bought from the Castro shop. 
uh, which costs 150 Kafra points each. So I can, uh, I, no, uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe let's not do that. Uh, just quickly check the cash up if you want. And players will be transported out at every sharp hour. So do not enter during then. Okay, so example, it's every 12 a.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and so on and so forth. So the best way for you to enter Pouring Island is probably at 1201, 101, 201, 301, 401, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's also a roulette show triggered every even hours. So every 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 6, yeah. 8, 10, 12. <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to obtain <laughs> exclusive costumes such as costume rainbow pouring hat and costume yes. uh, co consumables through this event. All right. Yeah. Okay. One of the uh, most one of the events that I've been waiting for. Um, it actually gives you a lot of XP as well, so mm -hmm. people should take advantage of that. And yeah, first one is free, and let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and right now though, MG, um, mm -hmm. let's talk about the god items now because <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm sorry about let's that. Go. Okay, so. We've been uh, we've been uh, talking about it uh, for the whole War of Imperium session. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, let's try and uh, quickly analyze what's going on right there. Why are players eager to get God items? Because there is a God, new God item update. It was just last yes. Thursday during the maintenance. There are four seals: Seal of Sleipnir, Megging Jar. Bracing Gamen and Mjolnir. When Mjolnir. all four seal quests are completed, players can create the god item. Do note only one player can enter the room and for 10 minutes. Yes. Alright, so like yeah. um I think yeah, if you're if you're oh. um Sura, maybe making guard is the best for you, right? Mm -hmm. And you can quickly check out the effects. Of uh, the skills or the items right there, so Megging Jar strength plus forty, like uh, for every base level strength plus one, like what I mentioned earlier. Slave near as well, max HP SC plus twenty percent and in plus twenty five, and it increases move speed as well. All right, so they're pretty decent. Of course, they are god items for a reason, MG. Yes. Definitely, and it's actually worth the uh, you know the time and effort to create as well. Mm -hmm. Again, you will gain a, a big, uh, um, huge um, advantage in in your fights as well. Especially if you're if you manage to get um, a specific god item for your character. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, players are eager to participate in Warframe Imperium and capture specific castles. In order for them to get uh, specific treasures to build god items. Alright. Yes. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, speaking about updates, we do also have a uh, head costume synthesis box update and costume synthesis box update. And the chances mm -hmm. to obtain costume frozen crystal wings and costume water bot water bender rather from a yeah. consumable synthesis box is uh, increased from the patch update last Thursday. For head costume synthesis box though, uh, it, it's available through Gacha Egg, and you can get consumables and limited uh, item costume seraph wing helm from. Mm -hmm. uh, from from it <laughs> okay <laughs> it took some time uh yes. yeah and well, mm. yeah and that's good actually uh increased rate means more chances of getting the you know the water bender and the uh, crystal wings frozen mm -hmm. crystal wings and of course if you do want to know more information about uh, the updates the events in game please do check out the pinned comment of the stream because because it's all listed there and uh yep. yeah just click on the link or just join the roggh discord and uh, or you can also visit the website ro.gnjoy.asia.com 
com. All right. And while uh, we are checking castles out, our <laughs> last um, spiel promotion for today, MG, it is the Razor Gold Ooh, Razor for gold. the month of September. September. Yes, it's from tem- from September 1, 2022 to September 30th, 2022, GMT plus 8. Recharge your G Enjoy account via Razor Gold Wallet and get in-game items such as Rabbit Hopping or Vassalage <laughs> Necklace Costumes for free. Yes, <laughs> free. yes for free. it is free. <clears throat> okay, okay. <laughs> for September promotions, you will get the following. <laughs> Tier 1, it's 5,000 uh, Kafra points with Razor Gold Wallet and score a rabbit hopping Ooh. costume. For wow. Tier 2, it's 30,000 Kafra points with Razor Gold Wallet and score a Vassalodge necklace. Slush. Okay. So yeah. earlier, I tried to do the, the higher pitch free, but uh, my throat couldn't yeah. take it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So you got this. Yeah. Let's check. Opus Day. Uh, Opus Day is probably just breaking other castles as well. Because we've seen how they defended E.R. Brigar earlier. Yes. And I think... Um, hmm. Yeah. I think everyone is just... Uh, like you mentioned before, like people are just settling down right now. And... Uh, oof. Will we see a last uh, minute and- break though? Goons? Okay, will we see a last minute break? Wait. Let's go, goods. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. They retreated. No, 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 no. Oh, they retreated. Pretty... Oh. Okay, so no last minute breaks there for Neutron Stain. Uh, uh, no one's holding. Yeah. Scarlet Palace, like we saw earlier, it's a purple Dominari. And your uh, Bright Arm or Nemesis Armada, maybe a purple Dominari wants to take a hold of this. Is Nemesis inside? Uh, I think they're not. Or maybe they are. Maybe they're just holding. What do you think, MG? Yes. Um, I think they're holding right now. Are they? Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's one. <laughs> there's one ranger using your favorite skill, MG. Oh, your, 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 your ex favorite skill. That's my ex now. Yeah. Ex favorite skill. Because uh, yes, right now, oh, no. okay, Nemesis are like, you know, like you know, if you're gonna see like one Nemesis Armada outside of the uh, Imperium, especially if it's a uh, if it's a Ranger or a Surad, I'm hundred one percent sure that they're gonna that they're defending that castle. Mm-hmm. That's actually how they uh, play it, and most of the Rangers that they have. They just put and uh, they just plant ankle snares in the mm-hmm. entire cell, so people will have a hard time on uh, pushing through their yes. defense. They're just delaying. They just want to delay uh, their opponents into actually pushing in. So Nemesis Armada doing a good job in holding on for the last minutes of War of Imperium. Of course, they also do have their mechanics, uh, just uh, just in case. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. Said Russell Frost <laughs> the high pitch promo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, guys, you should check it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So you should, you should check, check the promos because of the high pitch promos that I do. The effort. Yeah. All right. Okay, so since it's going to be uh, the end of our War of Imperium session, MG, it's the last minute of War of Imperium. What are your thoughts about our current War of Imperium session? Well, I'm really happy that uh, Dominari, Arsenal, and the rest of the guys are back. And, you know, maybe they just took a break last time. And it's really nice to see uh, Dominari again back in action. Really miss their uh, strategy, the the swarms, the aggressive um, flanks, right? And same goes with Goons. And surprisingly, um, Opus Day. I'm really surprised that Opus Day has a has a lot of numbers, and I'm mm-hmm. really really happy for them that they managed to pick up um, several players, right? And I think the event actually boosted their um, their guild morale. on recruiting more, yes, yes. or their morale as well. Um, their guild standing as well. All right, definitely, definitely. Yes. 
and, uh, and yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty good Warf Imperium, right? We have fights, we have strategies. We saw left and right. We have objective guilds as well, which is I really miss as well. So mm -hmm. overall, it's 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 a nice Warf Imperium. Yeah, it's a it's pretty really decent nice Warf Imperium. Of course, Dominary is still showing their dominance. Arsenal uh, still uh, sealing their favorite castle Kremhild, but we've seen the improvement of the defense of uh, our players right there nemesis armada yeah, obus they take advantage of the classical blocks nonsense proving nonsense, that they can yeah. defend even against purple dominari earlier yes. uh, but i'm not sure if the the push was really successful or not because uh, they backed out at the last minute i'm not sure why um <laughs> Uh, what we've missed for this current session, it's Last Nightmare. It's Adonis. Yes. We haven't seen I'm much honest. of Infinix Reborn. We saw an improvement of Sword Guild. Now they have two members. <laughs> okay. Oh. They're two members now <laughs> instead of one. Okay. So props to Sword <laughs> Guild. Go. Hopefully, the next Warf Imperium, you can uh, let uh, like, Icy like, from the chat join. Icy. Her. Like, or even. Yeah, remember Primrose? Like she, uh, she's trying to build a, a guild as well. Like you know, maybe she can actually team up with uh with Vadark it's and Vadark, the rest yeah. of the sword guild. Oh, Vadark, uh. Yeah, maybe Primrose can join because I heard she's an arc bishop, so it's going to be a four man guild. Oh. All right. Hopefully, Vadrak wa is That's watching the stream be a right tough now. One. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, what else did we? C for today. Actually, we've seen guilds left and right. Pirates as well. Uh, just breaking Pirates, the yeah. castle. Uh, I'm not sure about the teddy bear <laughs> cup. Uh, I, I Are you sure it's not like Chow or something? Uh, let, me, let me double check. Uh, Seraphim. Yeah. Uh, Infants Reborn, Dominar <laughs> Arsenal. Fratres. Oh yeah, Fratres though. Gotta commend Fratres. Fratres did yeah, a really yeah, great I, I job agree, in Warf Imperium today. Uh, like, cancer as like well. Me, okay, I think yeah. uh, two guillotine cross. Like for me, I think uh, the MVP for this uh for this session, like I think it's gonna be fratres and nonsense mm -hmm. for me. Uh, they they actually showed how how good they are, and they showed that they're improving as well. So can't wait to uh, see them more in our war if <clears throat> war of Imperium sessions. <laughs> So hopefully that they can um, recruit more. So guys, if you're playing ROGGH, go check those skills. They're they're pretty good. All right. So yeah, pretty exciting War of Imperium for today. But that's going to be the end sure. for tonight's session. Just a quick reminder: War of Imperium schedule is every Saturday and Tuesday, nine to eleven p.m. GMT plus eight. Shoutouts to everyone in the chat and those who commented uh, for uh, to tonight's live stream. And mm -hmm. yes, once yeah. again, we are your casters. My name is James, and my name is MG. And we'll see you guys in the next session. Bye, guys. Yes. Sir. All right.